the all-new, sleeker, more powerful Solara. Who can resist? Looking to put more miles in your tank? All Shell gasolines are now specially formulated to give you better mileage, helping to take you farther. Stay tuned to the Weather Channel for continuing coverage on Isabel, right after your local on the 8th. Currently in your area, 72 degrees with light rain. for your area. Extended forecast. It may just be a tropical storm, but the legacy of Isabel is far from forgotten. Strong winds blow pieces of buildings apart. We'll have more next. And what if the tires of your car came floating right off? Not a good situation. We'll update you on the flooding problems caused by Isabel coming up. You're watching the Weather Channel. Live by it. Live. You're watching the Weather Channel. Evening edition. How can your tires just float right off? That's a great question. We'll have to find out about that. <laughs> Hello, thanks for joining us for the Weather Channel Evening Edition West Coast. I'm Dave Schwartz. And I'm Sandra Diaz. Thanks for staying up with us. As many of you know, this has been a busy day here at the Weather Channel, and we have several crews monitoring Isabel from the coast. Here's a quick look at some of today's highlights. Good afternoon, I'm meteorologist Jim Cantori. We are just getting hammered here especially with the wind and waves, 60, 65 mile an hour, occasionally gusting a hurricane force. And look at how quick the water can come up on you. I have seen telephone poles, transformers, parts of steps that uh, basically take you up the dunes around here. And there is considerable beach erosion going on right now. 20 to 25 foot waves crashing across that pier. And we're all wondering how long it's gonna take this kind of beating. upwards of hurricane force. Very hard to stand at the present time. Again, it looks like we're getting some of the worst that Isabel has to throw at us right now. Don't go outside. There's starting to be debris flying through the air. A piece of fence just went by me here. Our crew is safe, the power is out here, and I, I just came back from my room and noticed that this, because of the leak, the ceiling now, the ceramic and plaster ceiling is beginning to fall down on the floor. But we're safe and sound for the most part.
Can you better explain where you are? You, you look to, uh, from our vantage point like you're on a, uh, a ledge of some sort. You got a wind, uh, a wind meter there? Yeah, hang out Allow for dear life. Let me introduce you. Mike Seidel with the, well, the weather channel. Hang on, Mike, what's your reading? Well, we're, we're kind of protected here, aren't you? Oh, oh, oh. There's Brian. Not protected. We'll have much more on today's adventures with Hurricane Isabel coming up through the show. Taking a look at what we're dealing with right now, it's flood watches across the northeast. For now, it looks like we're going to continue to deal with the wrath of Isabel even in through the day on Friday. It has been downgraded to a tropical storm moving north-northwest at 23 miles per hour. The winds are at 65 miles per hour, but look at the radar. There's so much rain still associated with our storm. More rain bands coming in off the ocean as well. It is not over with, folks, and there's expected to be quite a bit of rain anywhere around those mountain areas. Possibly over a foot of rain is not going to be ruled out. And keep in mind, many of these areas recently had some showers. There's some soggy ground there. That is a liability for those trees to easily fall out of that saturated ground. So certainly the next 24 hours will continue to be a rough one for many of us. Let's take a look at some more current conditions. Dave? Well, thanks, Sandra. You know, close to the hurricane, or the tropical storm, that is, things are bad. We've got the heavy rain, especially here in the mountains. But the wind, fortunately, the rain is tapering off here in North Carolina, and so are the winds. It'll be a much quieter day here tomorrow. The worst of it now on the east side of the tropical storm nearly hurricane force wind gusts moving right up the tidal Potomac. 60 mile an hour gust at Quantico, 69 at the Tuxent River. Wilmington 45, New York City 40. It is dangerous to be driving out there here tonight. Take it easy my friend, both hands on the steering wheel and the power may go out so have some flashlights ready. Sandra? We've had a team of meteorologists out throughout the day tracking Isabel. Storm tracker Jim Cantori rode out the hurricane in Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. He wraps up his day of battering winds, driving rain, and powerful surf. The long-awaited Hurricane Isabel roared into the Outer Banks of North Carolina midday Thursday. Those residents who stayed behind anxiously watched the storm. That's why I stayed here. Um, I didn't evacuate because if I got off the island, it might take me a couple days to get back. The first hurricane in four years lashed the area with high winds and heavy rains. But the biggest problem was the unforgiving surf, with waves up to 20 feet smashing through the dunes. Uh, well, we were driving on the road, which is now about a foot underwater, and uh, checking a property of mine down a little bit further. We got right between two dunes where the wave was coming across, and it took the car, just flipped it right over. In this instance, no one was hurt, but the power of water is incredible, as our Weather Channel team found out. Right now. Jeez. The camera was damaged, but we learned a valuable lesson. The water caused widespread flooding throughout the Outer Banks, and there was some structural damage to houses, businesses, and hotels due to the hurricane force winds. For the Weather Channel, I'm meteorologist Jim Cantor. Now we're continuing to survey the damage left behind by Isabel, and there's no doubt that the cleanup after this hurricane will take some time. Take a look at these homes destroyed in Nags Head, North Carolina. The coast was pounded with high winds and heavy rain as Hurricane Isabel made landfall Thursday afternoon. Winds gusted up to 100 miles per hour and rain fell steadily causing damage and flooding in the Outer Banks. Storm surge caused high waves and washed out streets in the Outer Banks. And here in Virginia Beach, high surf destroyed the end of this fishing pier. Pieces of the pier are floating along the shore reports of... Imagine how...